हेलो व्यूअर्स विश यू वेरी हैप्पी दीपावली एंड वेरी हैप्पी छठ सो अभी क्यू टू रिजल्ट का सीजन चल रहा है एंड uh, अलग अलग कंपनी रिजल्ट के साथ आ रही है देर वॉज वन कंपनी हुज रिजल्ट क्वाइट सरप्राइज मी एंड दैट कंपनी वॉज मारुति मारुति डिड मोर देन ट्वेंटी परसेंट रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ एंड मोर देन सेवेंटी टू एटी परसेंट ऑफ पैट ग्रोथ ईयर ओवर ईयर वाई डिड इट हैपन and what is the connection of maruti's result with this concept called unit economics that is what we are going to learn in this video please note i am a sevi registered research analyst i do hold position in some of these stocks which i am discussing uh, whatever we are discussing it is not a stock recommendation to buy or sell please do your own due diligence and please use this information as a case study to learn about this concept called unit economics so what is unit economics if we try to understand in simple terms it means a way to simplify a business performance and a business strategy by measuring the profitability on a per unit basis now that unit could be a customer that unit could be the item which is being sold it could be anything but it is at the most granular level and understanding of the whole financial uh, uh, analysis and financial performance right from uh, revenue till the pat level understanding at a unit level because once a company is profitable at a unit level then they can go and they can scale it up now let us learn through maruti case study and what is happening in maruti now why this is important and why doing this analysis helps us to identify things which usually we miss out so abhi aap kisi se bhi auto sector ka koi bhi oem stock uthaoge aur aap puchoge uh, you know how that company is going to do the first thing most of people will do is they will look at the uh, you know siam data and they will tell oh its sales performance is good uh, pehle 2 lakh gaadi bech raha tha abhi 2.5 lakh gaadi bech raha hai that means it's good and agar pehle 2 lakh bech raha tha abhi zyada nahi bech raha hai then the performance is bad this is how usually we look at the auto oem data we look in terms of sales volume but there is a life beyond the sales volume data the true analysis lies in volume plus value plus unit economics analysis so let me give you uh, some perspectives on maruti for maruti the last 5 and 10 year volume cagr has been only 2% and 5.3% but the revenue cagr for maruti has been 8.1 and 10.3% which is almost 2 to 4x of volume cagr of maruti so how did it happen it happened because for each unit vehicle which maruti sold Maruti was able to raise the prices per vehicle by a CAGR rate of five to six percent on five or ten year basis. So when you look at two to five percent of unit volume growth and five to six percent of unit value growth, you combine it, and then you get almost a eight to ten percent of revenue growth. So actually, when you see the revenue growth performance of Maruti. 70% of the contribution is coming from value growth however most of the times all we are worried about is volume growth and despite of the fact that maruti being a entry level we will discuss more about it but the typical image of maruti is it's basically the small and hatchback cars and they are the lowest price cars which means they should have the lowest pricing power but despite of that 70% of the revenue growth of maruti is being driven by value than volume and the higher we go in the pricing curve unit price curve like if we take a premium car or we take a premium bike like the importance of that value growth share increases further and this is how you get the final numbers so if you look at these numbers i have taken fy 30 number and fy 23 number of course i have taken years in between but for the sake of representing data i have just uh, you know i am hiding all those numbers 
But when you look at, and let's not look at one and three year CAGR because the auto sector is doing well. So the numbers will look very good. So let us look at five and 10 year numbers. And here we can see, this is the volume growth rate of Maruti. If we take an average of this, this is like a 3.5% kind of volume growth rate versus the unit revenue growth rate has been around 5.5%, which means in 2013, the average selling price of one Maruti car was 3.8 lakh rupee. And in 2023, the average selling price of one Maruti car was 6 lakh rupee. So this is where we are getting the lift. And despite of 3.5% average volume growth, the net revenue growth is 9% because this growth is almost 2x of this. So the question is, why are we discussing this? I mean, what is the benefit we are getting? Of course, we are learning about unit economics and, you know, we have to uh, look beyond uh, volume growth. But why are we doing it right now? Now, this is what is known and this is the common perception of Maruti, which has been for a long time. It is known as a small car company and... Uh, Still, it reflected some pricing power you saw with the uh, unit value growth rate growing at around 5% CAGR. However, Maruti has always lagged in bigger cars and especially SUVs and the whole automobile the PV industry is shifting towards SUVs. Hello viewers, a very happy Deepavali to all of you at Scientific Investing. Our endeavor is to create courses which can help to shape up your learning curve. And we are running special Deepavali campaign where we have exclusive 10% discount across all our courses, all our learning tracks and memberships. All you need to do is while paying, you use this coupon code called Diwali10 uh, at our website, learn.scientificinvesting.in and you will have this exclusive offer which is there till 12th of this month. And if you look at our content, uh, we have covered almost now 100 plus company use cases, 10 plus sector use cases, regular market coverage, periodic review of the market, newsletters, uh, weekly meetups, different kind of valuation, excels, webinars, lot of tools and technologies to leverage to make the overall uh, analysis much more productive. And uh, the courses span across fundamental analysis, technical analysis, programming, quantitative, techno funda strategy, and all of that. So do browse the website and find the course or learning track which is relevant for you and enjoy the discount. Thank you. So now there is a small twist in the Maruti story which has been the story of small cars. This is the Q2 FY24 operational number for Maruti and what is interesting is the SUV segment for Maruti had a growth rate of 117%. In Q2 FY23 Maruti sold almost 83,000 SUVs, but this quarter Maruti has sold 1,80,000 SUVs, which is almost comparable to the smaller cars, which is like 2.43 lakhs. So one year back, Maruti sold 3 lakhs small cars and 83,000 SUVs. Now Maruti has sold 2.43 lakhs small cars and 1.8 lakh SUVs, which means one, there is a very high growth rate in SUVs and second, SUVs have become almost comparable to their small car and even the small car you saw they operate at 5 to 6 lakh kind of price range and SUVs they operate around I think 12 to 15, 16, 17 lakh kind of price range. Also with this Maruti has taken market share in SUV segment and it has become a leader. I think currently the market share has gone to 23% from 13% two years back. Now, can you imagine the impact of this on Maruti's unit economics? So let me give uh, through one more data point. You saw in 10 years, the unit price of one Maruti car went from 3.8 lakhs to 6 lakh. It took 10 years, one year, four quarters. It took 40 quarters to achieve that. What has happened in last two quarters the average selling price of one Maruti car has gone up from 6 lakh to 6.42 lakh, which is almost a 7% jump just in two quarters because of the growth rate in the SUV segment. Also, the volume in the SUV segment has started growing and Maruti is growing at least for the last two, three quarters. Maruti is going higher than the market. 
I think the PV market has grown at 5%, Maruti is growing at 8% due to the SUE push. And if you go through the annual reports, con calls, there were some specific presentations done uh, in Suzuki, Japan. You will see that they have realized some of the mistakes and they are in correction mode. But the question is, what finally it leads to uh, in terms of unit economics? So a per unit higher price vehicle for premium segment, one, it will have a better pricing power. Uh, again, nobody knows the future, but this is how market and business behaves. The higher the price, the more the premium and more the pricing power. And if Maruti was able to uh, do a 5% kind of unit value growth rate, given they are growing in premium segment, the possibilities to have that kind of growth rate is only higher. Also, usually a higher price point products will work on a more premium margin, more higher margin, which means there is a possibility of margin expansion, which means there's a possibility of disproportionate profit growth rate. So here is how Maruti did in the last quarter. And of course, there was some contribution which came because of raw material cyclicity, which you know came in favor. But Maruti was first, it was able to grow its top line by 20%. By doing 8% volume growth rate, Maruti was able to grow its revenue by 20%, which means almost a 2.5x growth in the revenue with respect to growth in volume because of the contribution coming from unit value lift going from 6 lakh to 6.42 lakh because of the bigger push in the SUE segment and the revenue mix change in the SUE segment. Now, revenue mix is one of the ways how operating leverage is achieved. Uh, sometime back, I had made a presentation on operating leverage uh, in terms of clear and simple framework. Uh, my interview is there in the Economic Times. I have provided the link you can see uh, and you can read through it to understand more about operating leverage. But revenue mix is one of the drivers for operating leverage, which seems to be playing out where operating leverage means disproportionate profit growth with respect to top line growth. And we can see that happening where against 20% revenue growth rate, the PAT has grown almost at 80% growth rate. Of course, there is a contribution or at the raw material level also, but a lot of contribution is coming because of the unit economics and revenue mix change. So the question is, can this elephant dance? Why elephant? Because Maruti is one of the Nifty 50 stocks. The market cap of Maruti is almost 3,10,000 crore, but a company of 3,10,000 crore market cap has grown at 80% profit growth rate. And uh, uh, when the conference call started, the most of the questions had a doubt. People thought that it is, there will be some one-off, but the management says said there is no one-off. It's just regular business performance. So next time, never think about an auto OEM growth rate only in terms of looking at SIAM data, looking at you know volume growth rate. Because the, even in the lower pricing segment, the contribution of volume is you know only up to 30-40%. More than 60% of the contribution, 60-70% of the contribution comes from unit value growth rate and higher the pricing se segment more the contribution possibility of value growth rate. So always break the revenue growth rate in terms of contribution coming from volume, coming from value, and then look at the unit economics in terms of, uh, you know, per unit revenue, per unit EBITDA, per unit PBT, per unit PAT, and then see what kind of operating leverage possibilities are there and what is the kind of impact it can happen on uh, the lower PNL item, which is like the PVT and a pack. So I hope this video was useful to you and it will help you to understand the drivers of some of these numbers in the PNL we track, which will give you a better sense of how to understand the business and how to make your assumptions about the business. So far, we have always grown by our work and word of mouth. So our humble request, if you like our content, share with as many friends and colleagues you can because that will help us to reach to more people uh, to get more visibility and to make more such videos. Thank you.